Becky is here. Happy, happy Sunday, or whenever you see this, um, because obviously it's Sunday samples, okay? And I told you guys last week I was going to come back and give you guys a review on the new uh, Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation, okay? So, first of all, let me say this. I did not get the full size. I just got the sample from Sephora, and I don't even have really anything left. Right? I don't have nothing left. She's she's done. I, just, I don't even think I could get anything from the bottom of the barrel. Okay? So, I tested her out all week. Um, and the previous week, too. And first thing I want to say is, um, for those of you who are not familiar, um, this is the Pro, the Pro Filter uh, Matte Foundation right here. And it, you see it comes in this glass bottle and it has the pump right so i do want to say the first thing that's different about the pro filter hydrating foundation is is the packaging okay and um it comes in comes in like it comes in a tube like so i hope you guys can see it real good it comes in a tube um it has the pump but it's a tube that you <laughs> uh, that you can actually squeeze or whatever, like a toothpaste type of tube or whatever. But it does have a, it does come with a pump, so you can pump it. And um, uh, yeah, so I want to say you get to the end of the pump or whatever, maybe you can squeeze it. I don't know if you can roll it. I, I don't know. Somebody out there, let me know if it's that type of tubing. But yeah, it comes in a tube, and I, I thought that was dope itself. It comes in a tube because I know I have terrible accidents and stuff. A lot of my um things fall off of my makeup makeup table. Does anybody else have that trouble too? Does your stuff fall off the makeup table? But anyway, so first of all, let me start with the description they give. Y'all know how I do. I'm gonna give y'all a brief description of the product, and then I'm gonna let you know how I felt about it. Okay? And no, I'm not. I'm not wearing it today, y'all. I'm chilling today. I'm chilling. Not wearing it today. So it says hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones okay uh, long wear light as air um says a first of its kind hydrating long wear foundation that delivers it all with comfortable medium to full coverage serious stay in power and natural finish perfect for normal to dry skin all in graduate all in groundbreaking ranges of 50 shades right okay so pro filter fans we are fans right <laughs> have spoken and rihanna has listened so for the first time ever medium to full coverage meet serious long wear and hydrating foundation with a perfectly smooth natural finish that's that's less that let skin <laughs> look like skin okay um and it goes on and on, and then it, it tells you some tips about the shade. Well, oh, y'all know how to find your shade, shade finding tips and all that stuff. Um, and then it says, just like the original Pro Filter, Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation has a sweet and, uh, I mean, a sweat and humidity resistant formula that easily builds to medium to full coverage, instantly evening out skin without clogging pores or settling into fine lines plus the long wear plus the long wear light as air texture is undetectable on skin so you always look like you all right so that's just a brief description right now i will say everything that's in this description is true i have been wearing this thing all week uh, I posted pictures on Instagram. Y'all see my IG handle over here. Go follow I underscore just underscore Jackie. And y'all can see the faces I do or whatever with, um, you know, the products I'm testing when I do post and everything. So it does give you a natural, it, it gives you like, it gives you, definitely gives you skin like finish. I'm not going to sit there and say people are not going to be able to tell you wearing makeup. Because look at me now. Like, y'all see me. Y'all know when I put on my makeup, y'all can tell when I'm actually wearing it. Like, I'm, I'm going to do every, I'm going to have my face done, done, done. You know what I'm saying? So, 
but because I can't, I went to work one day last week, and um, I mean, I I, I did more than usual. Y'all know I did my little contour, I did my under eye highlights. You know, I got all that to my face last week, right? And I went to work, and she was like, "Oh my God, you, your makeup looks so good!" Like, yeah, I said, "It was so good." Yeah, I know. I can do makeup when I take the time to do my face, but y'all know I've been lazy, and I just ain't been doing full faces like that. But anywho, so she was like, "Oh my God, your face looks so good. Your skin looks so smooth." Blah blah blah. So, with all that being said, let's go and get right into this review because I've been testing this thing for over a week now, and um. I've been using it with uh, the the Pro Matte Filter Primer. Okay, now I did try it with other primers, um, and y'all know I got an oily T zone. And I know when y'all heard me giving a description, y'all really didn't it didn't say it was oily girl or combination skin friendly or whatever. It said normal to dry dry skin. That's what it says. But as for a girl who has combination skin, y'all see the little shine up in here. For a girl who has combination skin, um, I I still enjoy this this foundation because I can put on the Pro Matte um, primer, you know, do my face like I normally do my face, etc., etc. And I wore this this obviously it it definitely is long lasting, long wearing, and um, I don't know if y'all remember when I. I posted some stuff on Instagram where I went to a football game and I posted a pic. And it was sunny out there, you know, I had my face done and all that good stuff, highlights, all that stuff was popping, and I had on Fenty. And when I tell you, y'all know I be hot flashing, so when I started hot flashing, um, I didn't look all greasy or nothing, I just had like the, the nice perfect glow. Shout out to this foundation. When I tell you it didn't go nowhere, it didn't run, you know, I was just beaming and shining. And once the little hot flashes went away, my face went right back to, she fresh, okay? So, but, so when it says it's sweat, uh, what do you call it, sweat resistant and all that good stuff, Facts. Definitely sweat resistant. Okay. So, um, easy to apply. I love using that Fenty foundation brush. If you guys haven't got that Fenty foundation brush, I use that thing to apply all my foundation, not just for Fenty. It's, that brush is amazing. Um, but I'll get a sidebar to sidebar. We're supposed to be talking about <laughs> the Fenty foundation. So it goes on extra it goes on it goes on great it doesn't dry quick like the the original foundation you know like you gotta hurry up and apply that before it just like dries down like this doesn't dry down super fast um for one like it's it's a hydrating you know foundation so i don't expect it to dry down super quick but um easy to apply it is buildable so like it says medium to full coverage just depending on you know how you what look you're trying to go for, you can get pretty much any look you want to get. So, do I recommend this foundation? And you know, it got that nice, it got that that Fenty scent. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it smells, it, it smells kind of sweet, but it's not. The scent's fine. And um, yeah, know I'm all over the place. Uh, yeah. Do I recommend this? Yes, I do recommend this foundation. It's it's like it's very lightweight. It's very buildable. Um, it's very workable, and it it does look like skin skin when when it's done. The color I used was 450, and I guess maybe the question you guys really want to know, which one do I prefer over the other? Oh man, honestly, as a girl with oily combination skin, I would pull for this one, but I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna buy a full size of this because it it doesn't matter if you're an oily girl as long as you prime, prime you know, prime your skin, <laughs> prime your skin, prime your face properly, you'll be fine. I'm sorry, y'all saw this about ah, uh, but uh, but as long as you prime, prep and prime your face properly, you will be fine. Coming from a girl with the oiliest T zone in the world, because you can see right here. This is where I get shiny, 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 yeah. So anyway, so yeah, but um, I didn't have any issues with the um, uh, with the oil breaking through. Um, only time I had issues with the oil breaking through probably whew, when I use a different um, 
when I use a different primer. I'm trying to, I say this all the time. I really feel like Fenty made the primer just to go with Fenty products. That's all I'm saying. Just to go with Fenty products. I just don't see, I've used other primers and the Fenty don't do what it do with other primers. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So again, like I said in the last video, if you have Fenty foundation, get you some Fenty primer. Okay. So I ain't going to drag this video out. That's it, y'all. I just want to come back and let y'all know I do love the new Fenty foundation. Yes, I highly recommend you try it. No, you don't have to go buy a full size. Go to Sephora, get you a nice sample and try it before you buy it. So with all that being said, I will catch my beautifuls in the next video. Y'all hear my peoples in the background. All right. Peace.